good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Minecraft. Oh, look, I can see the island there in a little distance. So, um, I spent some time and I built a new facility so we can do some machiny bits. Um, all sorts of machiny bits. Um, we'll go in there and, and have a look in a second. And, of course, um, here's our old, um, old place. Old place? Sure, old place. Um, so this uh, little village virus is starting to get a little bit fleshed out, isn't it? We've got lots of different bits and bobs. And you might see something over there in the distance as well. Uh, and this is another thing I just kind of whipped together uh, with some... To contain... Oh, I forget. It does Podzol? If you jump on Podzol, does it break? Does it, like, get ruined? Does it turn to normal dirt? I can't remember. I think if you break it, it gets turned to normal dirt, doesn't it? Um, so, yeah. Uh, I built this little bee. It doesn't look much like a bee. I tried, okay? But, um... I, what can I say? I'm not the best in the world with a little stinger. And they're supposed to be wings, but they kind of look like eyes. And the eyes are just too big because, um, I don't know, maybe the whole thing was just a bit too small. So I, I brought all the bee things over into this bee chest. I'll make a bee chest so we can put bee things in. And I thought this could just be our little headquarters for bee-related activities. Because um, that's something I want to kind of get into um, at some point. Um, but yeah. Well, anyway, there, there, there's some updates, I suppose. And of course, um, I think I'm invisible now, aren't I? Oh, spooky! Because um, this gun apparently makes me invisible, which um, is news to me. Uh, wait, did I put these down? Yes, I did. They're little hedges. Sure, why not? Oh, crikey. So let's go have a peek around, um, figure out what we're going to do today. So um, we could move our machines. I've got Obviously, I've got the two blast furnaces now, or preheaters pre on, sorry. And um, I did a little few bits and bobs, uh, managed to create a ton of steel and a ton of um, slag. So let's grab all that slag a second. I think I'm, I know what I might do with this slag. I think we need to create some clay with it. And um, did I, I think I built a well as well, didn't I? Yeah, so this chest here, uh, the idea is we put in iron and we put in um, coke, um, I think. Let's have a look and see if we can, I can just kind of demonstrate to this to you guys. So there's some coal coke, sure. And then we need some iron as well. Do we have any iron? I hope we have iron. Just at least so we can just demonstrate. Let's grab a couple of iron, bits of iron. Um, oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> Dumbass. Uh, let's put all this back a second. And then um, what we do is if we want to... Um, I can get the streamlined better at one point. But um, for now, this kind of works. So if I want to create steel, I just go, okay, well, I need the iron. need the cold coke. And it just gets fed through. It's like, oh, look at that. It's all disappearing. And then if we go down to the here down to here um it starts cooking it and it cooks it pretty quickly as well and as you can see here it's starting to fill up oh i guess i had some iron in it already oh that's cool that's cool um and then all this stuff pumps out here so the steel comes out here and the slag comes out on the other side um obviously i've created quite a bit um but yeah i mean um the windmill's feeding these things um i guess hopefully quite well although i can't really sell let's have a look at the transform that's a good way to tell um okay is it keeping up or is it draining Okay, so these preheaters aren't powered by these windmills. And I think, yeah, um, I noticed it before and I feel like a real dunce because this windmill is actually connected up. Um, yeah, I feel really stupid. <laughs> and like really dumb. It's like, what? Why isn't I think maybe when I was putting some machines down, I might have knocked it open or maybe it wasn't connected the entire time. Who the hell knows, right? Um, probably someone noticed it and they were like, oh, you're such an idiot, man. Um, and they never said anything because, you know, everybody apparently loves me. <laughs> well, I can't even keep a straight face. Uh, wait, is that input or output? That's um, let's have a look. That's in, isn't it? This and that's output. This is no connection. Um, so why is this output? Oh, this is input, side facing input. Okay, cool. That's what we want. So let's put a little connector here a second. Um, pop this down here. I, wait, the hammer just got switched again. That's weird. And then put that. Could, will it reach? There we go. Now we're talking. Now we've got both connect, the sides connected up. Because the one windmill, it was getting kind of like a bit of a problem. Oh, yeah. I didn't kind of like show you this either, did I? Um, so, yeah, we could just kind of put stuff that we want to be crushed into here. And it goes, do, 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 do. It goes up there into the little thingy. Uh, wait, how's our, um, is that starting to charge up now? I think this is charging up now. So now it can at least run um, the heater, um, I guess. Fine, sure, why not? Could, will this work? If I could just show you. So it goes up there. Up there, into here, grinds up, pumps out here. Boom! <laughs> we got some tin, some um, iron, and some um, nickel there as well. So, yeah, I mean, like, just been doing some admin stuff. This is so inefficient. It's crazy. So, um, I'm probably going to move all this machinery into the new building 
because at the minute it's just it's a bit of a nightmare nothing really makes sense like these wires um it's such a waste too many too many wires i mean it's, it's a nightmare as well because like well i'm not actually getting shot because i don't know why hmm maybe i don't seem to get shocked anymore since my armor upgrade maybe i am electric proof that would make sense i've got like um voltaic on this body armor so maybe that means that i'm kind of like electric proof and i built a tunnel <laughs> I thought about making it like a hidden tunnel, but then I just decided just just fine just the tunnel Yeah, so we can stay indoors You don't have to constantly go in and out of doors if you want to go to a new building So this is the new place. I like the little treated wood floor planks. It looks pretty cool It's all lit up um, better solutions to light in would be a great idea But I, I just didn't want anything spawning inside, you know, and of course we got the upstairs as well Now it's a bigger ceiling in the upstairs because it's gonna house bigger machines like a uh, someone splurged on the floor there a little bit Ew, that's gross. We need to get someone to clean that up. Oh gosh um, brick walls I like that these little brick walls effects. We can kind of see through the gaps and stuff. It makes it look like that shouldn't be there it makes it look like um like an old factory you know and i like these are windows as well framed glass pray panes and it's pretty cool but anyway yeah nice little building i put together uh, it's quite large it should hold everything and these giant ass doors as well now i wanted to put together um wait is it in here no i think it's down here um cool it's a bit laggy at the minute um i need some upgrades on my pc i think i just need new ram or something now um I wanted to build some concrete and start like slabbing outside and I wanted like a patio outside of the machine area um, Just down here. Oh, oh, so I wanted to kind of like slab off some of this area um, And it would be I think it would be a good kind of like I use for some of this slag really um, We probably want to keep it on the same level as the door don't we so maybe kind of a uh, black lotus Pop that there did I get some dirt then? Oh, a 31 dirt. Okay, fair enough. Um, so I think what we're going to need is um, and use some of this slag here. Press U on it so we can see what it's all about. So we can make clay with it. We can make dirt with it, apparently. We can make concrete, which is what kind of what I want to do. I want to make some um, asphalt, but um, it requires bitumen, and I don't have any of that. I think we can get it later on, but I'm not entirely sure. I think you get it when you, like... Uh, process oil, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. And then um, you can make some phyto grow. Which is, um, is that like a fertilizer? I think it might be like a fertilizer, right? Um, some more there with some saltpeter and some pulverized charcoal. Um, which is, um, I actually, uh, saltpeter? Hmm, not sure, not sure. And then we can make some florbs and some mag, what's that say? Mag mac? Magmatic? Magmatic, sure. More florbs, florbs, whatever they are. And then you can turn it to a different type of slag, which uh, pretty much crafts the same thing anyway. So, um, so let's get started. So we want to go over to our little workshop. Uh, we're probably going to spend more time inside the work, little workshop, you know. Um, oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Also, um, I, I created this little redstone clock. And um, what you can do is you can turn it on. And then anything that's in there, it kind of activates this, puts it into an ingot, and then it hoppers out into the chest. So I just emptied out the place, you know, emptied this thing out. And then we can kind of use whatever um, ingots we need at the time. So it stops it, like, being able to alloy and stuff. Because um, I was having to kind of um, swap sources i had to like create uh, just smelt down like tin and stuff like that if i wanted it because otherwise it was going to alloy and it's going to be a problem and stuff like that so at least this is now empty i don't have to worry about it and then if i do want to put something in like oh some titanium just stick a couple of titanium ingots in jobs are good and we don't have to worry about the lava and stuff like that because we got plenty you know um so anyway let's go here so um we need to i guess um sure uh, we need to just kind of max out these little things. What am I doing here? I'm really screwing up, guys. There we go. <laughs> and that goes there. Uh, this goes here. Cool beans. And then we need um, some gravel. Yeah. Very nice. And there. And there. Perfect. And then we need clay. Lots and lots of clay. Not sure, not sure how much clay I have. There we go. But I guess I need another stack. So what we can do is we can actually use the rest of this slag to make some clay. Before that, we're going to need a bucket of water, two slag, and dirt. So we have some dirt here. Um, how much is this going to create for us, though? Let's see. So it was two slag, wasn't it? It was dirt and water. Now, I have a well here because uh, I realized I, I looked for ages and I couldn't find a solution for a stackable water source to make this easier, right? Because it, it looks like I'm going to have to put in a bucket at a freaking time and it's going to be forever. Now, other than automatic crafting tables, which is um, a bit later on, um, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's possible. I tried using some cans. Um, I made some cans up here. I ended up putting creosote in them instead. Um, 
Oh, we still got plenty of crits here, haven't we? Actually, while I'm thinking about that, let's empty that a second. Um, but yeah, I, I couldn't figure it out. If you guys know of any way to get a stackable water source, so I could just put it in here and, and craft lots and lots of things at once with just water. Because um, if we if we go here, like... Um, no, that's not right. So if I go R on that, it does seem like it's only a water bucket, yeah? It doesn't seem like there's any alternative, and this pack doesn't seem to have one. I googled it, couldn't find anything, but who knows? Maybe maybe there is a solution that I'm just not sure of. Uh, what we can do is we can get lots of buckets, though, can't we? That wouldn't that might make things a little bit easier. So four clay at a time. Okay. Um, this is going to take a while, I think. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just kind of like go through, make a ton of clay, and then get back to you guys. Okay, so here we go. Putting the last finishing touches on. We've just got three more to go. That's one. That's uh, two. There we go. And number three. Perfect. So that's all of the dirt used up. And we've got nearly two stacks of clay from that. Uh, which we can kind of go. We can go up here. And we can pop that here. Fantastic. And then I guess we've got to do the same for the concrete then, haven't we? Um, which is a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, but what can I say? I don't think I'm going to go like full out like I did... Um, with the other ones, use it all. I don't know, maybe it will. Um, so I guess, um, see you guys back in a second. Okay, so let's just keep this as the final round. Uh, we won't need to do much more after this. Uh, did I use all my buckets? No, they're all here. They're all here. Okay, so how much have we got then? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven stacks, eight stacks even. Uh, eight stacks of concrete. Uh, here's our buckets here. Let's just kind of put our tools back down a second. Put our buckets away. There you go, buckets. Nope, that's wrong. Um, sure, why not? There we go. Um, I don't know why I'm going back into the workbench. Wow, that took a while. Uh, let's see. So we need like the hammer, the gun, sure. And um, should we eat our eggs? Can we eat them now? No, we can't eat them yet. But that's the next thing we're going to eat. These um, energy drinks are actually really good. They're like two and a half shanks and um, a lot of overfill. So they're pretty good. So uh, I suppose we've got room there if we want to create some more. We can always come back. We've got 20 more, one more um, groups of 12. So that's a lot, I guess. <laughs> now, um, I want to kind of do a little bit of testing here on like uh, what looks good, uh, what to do. So let's go over. Uh, we can just do a bit of testing in some of this water area because we're going to fill it up anyway. Uh, so let's see. One, two, three. Now, it kind of just looks a bit like stone, doesn't it? Um, here we go. Mm. But there are other ways we can kind of like put this together we can have like concrete tiles which kind of looks a bit better doesn't it um yeah maybe what else can we do with it um it does look a lot like um like just stone doesn't it just straight up stone we can make launch pads with it as well which is pretty cool some black and some yellow dyes um in whatever quantities and stuff you want um Okay, maybe it's just kind of like the texture pad that makes it look like that though because I've seen it before and it's a little like a lot smoother um what the hell is this? Oh, that's dead. Right. Of course. Silly me. Um, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons today. Um, so I think that maybe, maybe, who knows? Maybe um, I like the, the tiled? No. I don't know. I don't know, to be honest with you. Maybe I kind of want to... Um, I don't know. I, I can't decide right now because it's a big commitment because I have to do like... What I wanted to do is I wanted to tile off this entire area. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that in my own time because it's going to take too long anyway. And then we'll end up just kind of like filling up with me just placing blocks, which doesn't sound all that eventful really, does it? Um, so let's just open up this, um, bank all our um, bits and bobs, and let's um, progress with something else, I suppose. Now, um, there's plenty to do in this whole book of ours, like generators and stuff. Uh, generators? Broken switch, current transformer, red rose, redstone was... Um, Therm thermio electric thermo electric that's the one generator what's a thermoelectric generator Ooh, that's interesting the thermoelectric generator or generators are another option of power generating and um and work without the use of mechanical parts sure okay that makes sense instead they use temperature gradients between two sources oh i think i've seen one of these before you have to put it with like a, a block of ice and a block of lava and then a difference in the temperature i guess kind of like creates like a little mini whirlwind or tornado inside it which makes perfect sense that's grounded in science um and it seems pretty easy um constantine plates uh maybe not then and some steel and some copper force anyway that might be a good idea we can make make a bank of those just as a kind of like a a a very plain um source of power and stuff like that you know just to kind of have us ticking over when um the windmills aren't um, doing their job but i like the idea of that these um never-ending power sources even if there are quite small we can just make lots of them can't we now but what i wanted to do today is get inside our little workshop um i like this as kind of like a little 
just like a machiney place. This is where all the tools are and stuff like that. And then this is where the, the, the machines actually do their work, you know. Um, so we want to make a core sample drill, right? So core sample drill. That's the one. Uh, I remembered. I remembered. So we need um, two, uh, four steel scaffolding, three steel fences, and two light engineering blocks. So that is what we're going to do. That is what we're going to do today. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. And then we're going to go around and take some samples about what's around in the immediate area, and then hopefully get some machine set up, start getting our resources through. Okay, so uh, what did we need? We needed uh, four steel scaffolding, two, two light engineering blocks. We'll have to make some of those. That's fine. And some steel fences. But that means we're going to need some steel sure uh we're gonna need anything else um oh we're gonna need some steel rods do we have any yes we have some steel rods fantastic do we though hmm, i can't remember let's see nope wrong button oh no yeah we do okay so that's fine let's do that um let's get the resources together now we're going to be needing tons of iron plates it seems to be like a, a pretty much a constant you know oh that's an iron plate thing i always have to check now because i always forget to check so i'm just going to put a ton of um iron in this machine and I'm just going to have it make a bunch. Now, does this work? Yes, it works. Okay. I was wondering if whether or not these switches actually did anything. I kind of stuck them on, but apparently they do do something. Right. So we need iron plates and lots of them. Because, um, oh wait, is that iron rods or steel rods? Iron rods. Okay, that's fine. Um, because it comes into here. Yes. So we need four per machine block. And we're going to need a lot of these machine blocks. So I'm thinking maybe we just create lots, right? So we need at least eight. We need lots of copper ingots and iron ingots as well. Um... Uh, do we have any iron in the iron? No, we don't. Um, but well, we will need some iron. So why don't we um, do something about that? We got some pulverized iron here. Can we put this in the smeltery? Boop. Oh, wow. Lag. Um, yes, that works. Okay. And then we can just like drip it out into here. Not great. Um, the, the solution in this mod pack is like the arc furnace. Um, to kind of smelt things down and stuff. And um, it, while it's an impressive looking machine, it eats through power like a motherfucker. So, um, I don't know. I kind of like the idea of, of doing it, though. So maybe it's something we can kind of um, get set up, even if we don't use it a lot. <laughs> that looks really strange. That looks really weird. What the hell? <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that, man. Christ. So, we need um, eight. One, two, three, four. Oh, wow. That's wrong. That's really weird. What the hell just happened there? Okay, there we go. Maybe it was the hopper that kind of messed with things. And then we need copper and iron as well, don't we? So do we have any copper? We have copper. Fan bloody fantastic. And let's go get some iron. Wait, do we have any iron in the old machine? In the storage machine? Oh, yeah. I kind of like... I went in the never. I found a fortress. And I found fuck loads of armor and stuff like that. So I just made a nice little stand. I think it looks really cool. There's some pretty like high-end stuff as well. Like diamond enchanted stuff. Wait, what is it? Uh, toughness, armor, toughness, armor, toughness. Of, that's some pretty decent armor. Not going to lie. It's pretty good. I think mine's better, though. Probably. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, we got loads of iron ore. We got, like, some iron ingots, I guess. Oh, we got some um, nuggets as well. Maybe we should just turn these nuggets into... Um, what is it? Do we have to go like that? Yeah, we do. Okay. And then we go bang, bang. Come on, seriously? This lag is killing me, man. Oh, God, it's so painful. Is it because all the machines are going and stuff? Is it because industry is happening? Who knows? Who bloody knows? But it's nice to be able to be out at night time and not have to worry about monsters creeping all over the shop. Right, uh, this workbench, I think I need to relocate it because it's a bit annoying. <laughs> not gonna lie, it is really fucking annoying. Right, iron things. Yay, I did the things and the thing and the thing and yay. Cool beans. There we go. And damn, bam, bam, damn, bam, bam. Sure, why not? Cool sample drill. So we stick it like here. Cool beans. And it's power. It needs to fill up with power before we can get a core sample. So how are we going to power this bad boy? That is the question. Um, let's see what we've got in options of generators. Generator. Um, sure. I think I know what I'm looking for here. But I don't think anything will work. So let's have a peek through a second and see if we can't come up with something that we can use to power this thing. Okay, doesn't look like um, this particular brand of... Oh, that's Osmeridium. That's why. Dumbass. God. 
Dumbass! <laughs> I feel dumb. Right, I'll pop it in here. Do we have any actual osmium then? Titanium? Osmium, we do. Fantastic. Phew! I almost had a heart attack then. I thought I was going to have to go through and um, be inconvenienced by having to smelt down some more bloody osmium. Oh, gosh. Right, anyway, here we go. So we got ourselves a heat generator. So we're going to need some coal or something to power this bad boy. Maybe some coke. Just uh, out of convenience, I suppose. Oh, yeah, I've also got I, this hopper here feeding coal in. Um, probably not the best of ideas, right? Uh, let's just grab some um, coal from here. Coal beans. Right. So uh, we put this down. Nope. 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 Put this here. There we go. I think that's right. Right? Right? I think so. It looks like it fits. So let's pop a couple of it, these guys in here. Oh, maybe a bit more. Sure. And then when this fills up, and this gets nice, <coughs> nice and hot. Sorry. Oh, wow, Christ. <laughs> when this gets nice and full, uh, we'll grab a um, sample. Right, here we go. Uh, just about used up all of the energy in this thing. So we right click on this and what it's doing is it's taking a sample of the um, the chunk and like what resources are held within this chunk. And it, um, it's, it's kind of special. It's not actually what's down there, but it's kind of like what this mod decided was in this chunk. Um, that's really weird. Is it done? Ah, here we go. Done. So as we can see in this chunk, we have a gold vein, no fluids. Um, but it has like gold and copper and stuff in there, I think. If we pop this down, um, here we go. So we can see in here, uh, I think it's got like a copper and a gold in it. If we look in our book and kind of see which of the um, the samples contain certain things. Like for instance, if it says it's a bauxite um, vein, then it contains 94% um, bauxite and 5% rutile. And here we see... Um, um, cass cassiterite, so it's just tin, sure, coal is, um, diamond, emerald, and, um, and coal, which is a very well, good one that we need, sh should definitely, um, try and get hold of, um, the gold one here, oh, no, this is a copper one, which contains gold and nickel as well, uh, which is the one we found, we found a gold one, which also contains, um, copper and nickel as well, apparently, uh, here we see, we can see a little nickel, copper, um, and gold there, and then stone, I guess, sure, um, so that, that doesn't quite make 100%, does it, but there, here we go, there's, there's the resources found in it, so we can go along here, see all the different resources in the different ones, what's this one, platinum ore, oh, nice, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around, and I'm going to see if I can find, um, a source of oil, or, like, lava, or water, or some sort of fluid source, uh, so we can just kind of dig these two things up again, a second, um, um, because we can, I want to get a pump jack on the go, and start popping up some fluids, and then storing them into nice big old tags now here's an interesting one um let's pop this down a second have a look at it so it's um it's a um, mag magnetite magnetite vein um but it also has water in it as well so it has five million m m buckets of you know millibuckets of water so i guess that's um it's like a thousand millibuckets or i don't know actually how does it work out how many um millibuckets is in a bucket because uh, it surely should be a thousand right I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyway, so we've got water here, which isn't so great. I mean, like, if we need water, we know it's here. So what I'm going to do is, um, this other one here, by the way, um, that I did, um, has nothing in it at all. It's just bl completely blank. No minerals, no fluid. Um, so, <laughs> so I'm just going to go around and I'm going to see if I can find anything a bit more lucrative. Aha! Ha 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 ha! Look what I found, guys! So, <laughs> it has 10 million millibuckets of oil and it has gold as well. Gold, copper, all that shebang. Uh, which is really cool. I mean, this is a this is a pretty solid chunk, this one here. Now, I've done lots. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've been out here a little while. Um, as you can see, there's lots of, lots of empties. <laughs> lots of empties. Um, pretty, the farm was pretty much empty, which I was glad of, to be honest with you, because um, I did the, the chunks around the farm, and um, they pretty much came up uh, like nothing on them, which is good because I didn't want to have to kind of remove the farms in order to get to places. Obviously, there's the water one here as well, um, but we found the oil, so that's kind of like what I'm going to focus on. I'm going to um, I'm gonna yum, I'm gonna yum, I'm gonna yum. <laughs> I'm going to uh, get myself a pub jack set up here. We're gonna have to sort out some power as well um, to power the damn. Who the hell do you think you are? Hey? Yeah, eat, eat shit and die. Wow, he was wearing like leather trousers. That was pretty cool. Um, anyway, that's a dead thing. So I wanna get a pub jack set up, pump up some of that oil, 
put it into nice big old tanks and then start working with it, you know, start using that stuff, you start using that uh, black gold uh, and also the gold gold as well because there's, there's also gold in this vein. It's gold, it's all gold, it's just, it's just pure money, <laughs> it's, it's money out my wazoo. Wow, that's a really strange looking sky. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there guys um, and I'm kind of pretty happy with... Um, with um, not having a gun. There we go. I'm back. I'm pretty happy with the progress I made today. Um, got lots done. I guess, you know, we've got... Um, I, I think what I might do is I might work next time where I can get this pump jack set up and then uh, moving some of the machines over into the new place and being more efficient and whatnot. Get out of here, zombie. Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hit like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Ciao!